Hey there, today I'm going to show you how to extract models from Elden Ring and import them into Blender. Let's get started. We will be using five different programs, which I'll link in the description below. The first one is going to be the UXM Selective Unpacker. This will be used to unpack our game. If you're not familiar with Nexus Mods, you need to go to File, and then we want to do Manual Download for all of these. The next one will be Smithbox. This will be used to search for our models and save them. The next one is Witchy BND. This will be used to unpack our model file and save the .flver file. The next one is going to be Aqua Toolset. We'll use this to convert the .flver file to a .fbx file. Finally, we'll download and install Blender. The previous four, you can just unzip and run wherever you'd like. Okay, first we're gonna run UXM, Selective Unpack. Okay, so now what you wanna do is browse to uh, your Elden Ring uh, EXE file. And then once you found it, then you just wanna hit Unpack. And it may take it just a minute. Okay, now that's complete, we can close that out. Now we want to run Witchy BND. It's gonna pop up with this terminal window here, and we're gonna configure the right-click context menu. That way you don't have to drag and drop the files. So we're just gonna hit any key, and just make sure it's uh, set up like I have mine here. Uh, the one that we definitely wanna make sure we have enabled is use specialized BND handlers. So once you have that, close out of it. Now you should be able to right click on a file and see Witchy BND in the context menu. So if you see that, then you're good. Now we can run Smithbox. So we'll go in here, open this up. So now there's a lot going on in here. Um, however, all we're gonna focus on right now is the model tab and I will go over the other sections in detail in later videos. But first what we want to do is go to File and then create a new project. Okay, so you want to give your project a name and then select a directory. And then browse for your game's exe, just like we did with the unpacker. So now that we've got that done, there's three sections we're going to take a look at. The Asset Browser Category, the Asset Browser Contents, and the Asset Browser Actions. In the categories, we have CHR, this is all of our characters. AEG, this is gonna be our environments. Part, this is gonna be all of our weapons and armor. And the rest of this is gonna be dungeons and interiors. We're gonna to go to Character and then select Blide, and then Load. All right, so he's loaded in. Now we can navigate around using the, the right mouse button, hold it down, and then you can use W, A, S, D, and Q and E to navigate, and then hold shift, you go and you zoom in and out quicker. All right, so we're not really gonna be doing anything else. So we got him loaded, we're gonna go to file, and then we're gonna save selected models. Now we're gonna open up our project folder, and in there, we're gonna open up the CHR folder. So the next thing we wanna do is go ahead and select the file and right click and go choose more options and hit Witchy BND. Okay, that is done. So now we can go ahead and go into the folder it created for us and there is our .flver file. So now what we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and run the Aqua tool set. We're going to run the Souls Models tool. Now, you can actually just drag and drop the .flver file on top of here, but if you run it, we, all we need to do is go up to File, Convert from Soft Model, TPF or Archive. We're going to find our .flver file and open. And again, it doesn't give you any kind of message or anything. So you just close that. And then we're gonna go back to our project folder. 
And now we have our FBX file. Okay, so last thing we wanna do is import this into Blender. So we're gonna go ahead and open up Blender. Okay, now we're in Blender. Just wanna to go to File and Import FBX. And now we need to go to our project folder. And there it is. Okay, and there is Blide. Now, we got a bit of a mess going on here. So what this is, all of this stuff here are the um, bones for the animations. So all we have to do is just go ahead and hide those and then there we have it. Okay, so now we got Blide imported into Blender. You can go ahead and uh, play around with them, do whatever you want. I will be going into detail in later videos on how to work with models in Blender for modding and 3D printing. So look forward to that. All right, if you found this video useful, please like and subscribe and I'll catch you later.